Hello everyone, Chipmunk here, and today I will be talking about my school's day of silence. And for uh, those that don't know what day of silence is, uh, I actually have my card that I wore around my neck. I uh, it was just a it's a speaking card. It says why I didn't talk, and um, I'll read it to you. And it's for the G L S E N. Day of Silence, it even has like a QR code, I think it's called. It has a little box. And it says, Please understand my reasons for not speaking today. I am participating in the Day of Silence, DOS, a national youth movement bringing attention to the silence faced by lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people and their allies. My deliberate silence echoes that silence, which is caused by anti-LGBT bullying name-calling, harassment, oh, and harassment. I believe that ending the silence is the first step towards building awareness and making a commitment. Think about the voices you are not hearing today. And then it says dayofsilence.org, which is it. So it was actually supposed to be April 21st, and it's a national thing, so every school that has a GSA uh, thing, GSA club, has it, but actually my school couldn't do it on the national day because my school also does an Earth Day, um, uh, and sorry, I'm trying to form my words, an Earth Day, uh, performance, the same, and it was the same day, and a lot of people performing in Earth Day were participating in Day of Silence, and you could buy a t-shirt, my school sold sells t-shirts for day silence now, but I'll probably put the picture up. But anyway, so I participated in day of silence. S some of my friends, I'm an ally to the LGBT community, by the way, and actually I have friends in the community. One of my, some of my bestest friends, one is pansexual, the other one is a Demi girl, and I think she also is pansexual. I'm not a hundred percent sure. She posted about this a while ago. She has a pride flag in her um, room, but yeah, it was very eye-opening to see. I participated in it, and we have a lot of smart Alec, Alec kids in my school, as you can tell from my the my newest latest video on why my school is crazy. And my, uh, the day before I had, I had a DBQ that day, and it's like a database question and document-based question, that's what it's called, not data. And I had left my note card in my robotics room, and I cried for half an hour before day of silence, actually, because it was a really important note card. It was for Miss Fancy's class, by the way, and, um... She said, you only get one, and if you lose it, oh well, not my problem. I was bawling, so I emailed the teacher, and I showed up actually during my lunch period to see if he could unlock the room, but I couldn't talk. So I actually, um, you could talk, actually communicate three, three ways. You could type it, and uh, they would like, like type it in Google Translate, and if some languages allow you to do it, like it'll read it back to you, that you could communicate that way you could communicate by writing my friend wrote on a note card uh, phrases or communicate by sign language my best friend is actually fluent in sign language my little sister is learning sign language and so I know s a, some sign language I knew how to say um, I need to go to the bathroom I need to go to the nurse um, shut up, idiot. I used that a few times because I had w went into the room and I couldn't talk and my teacher had no idea why. He was a bit dense. But, uh, this one kid's like, oh, you can't talk. So he just said, like, rude things to me. And I, uh, tried to communicate with my teacher, like, can you open up the other room? And actually, thank goodness, one kid actually realized what I was saying. He's like, oh, she wants you to open up the next room, the other room. And it was actually open, but I didn't know that, because usually they lock it. It was in the room, thank goodness, and I was happy. And 
but day of silence was really eye opening i had tr i was sick last year and i didn't want to participate i it's not i didn't want to participate i couldn't participate cuz i had like a huge presentations that day and whatnot so i didn't participate last year but i'm glad i participated this year and i'm going to participate the year after that it's just a great day and it just brings um knowledge like it says think about the people you are not hearing today the voices you are not hearing today my school is very lucky we have a gsa school my church actually is very welcoming to uh people of the lgbt community my school is very welcoming the this one senior actually the other day walked in with heels it was his way of coming out apparently i didn't know that i thought it was uh, against sexual abuse because there was a baseball team that had made that done that but um yeah it was very eye-opening and i enjoyed it so anyway sorry uh this is chipmunk by the way uh Thank you for listening. I will probably come out with another video soon. Uh, bye. Like and subscribe. If you want, comment below on how well you did. Well, I did. And uh, if you had participated in the LGBT uh, Day of Silence, it's also for um, child abuse. No, child trafficking. Trafficking. Because my cousin participated in that for child trafficking. But um, like and comment below. If you have ever participated in Die Day of Silence, or if you are in the LGBT community, or an ally of them. Bye!